In this video, we use 2818 Win ZVZ Wave Gateway, SRZV9101 SACHP UN Wall Dimmer, and SRZV9001K8 Dim G4 Dim Remote for setup. Wiring the three devices correctly, power on them. Download Easy Home Smart Home app from App Store or Google Play. Then connect your phone's Wi-Fi to Easy Home. The password is 0123456789. Before I add the dimmer or remote to a Z-Wave network, you must make sure that they do not belong to any Z-Wave network. Please remove them from previous network first if they belong to any Z-Wave network. Please refer to the part exclusion in Factroy Reset for how to remove them from a Z-Wave network. Now add the dimmer to Z-Wave network. Enter the Easy Home app. Select Z-Wave. Tap plus button create a new room and enter the room. Tap plus button to searching new device. Triple press the reset button on the dimmer. It will set the dimmer into inclusion mode. Added a new device, we can control the lighting with the app now. We can also control the lighting with push. Click to turn on or turn off, press and hold down to increase or decrease light intensity. Before I add the dimmer or remote to a Z-Wave network, you must make sure that they do not belong to any Z-Wave network. Please remove them from previous network first, if they belong to any Z-Wave network. Please refer to the part exclusion in Factroy Reset for how to remove them from a Z-Wave network. Now add the remote to Z-Wave network. Tap plus button to search a new device. Press and hold down both buttons I and O of group 2 over 3 seconds. The remote control will be set to inclusion mode and waiting to be included. After 10 seconds LED indicator blinks 6 times quickly to indicate successful inclusion. The remote control is a sleepy device. After inclusion it will not enter into sleepy mode immediately. And will continue activation status for 30 seconds and wait data enter from the gateway. The LED indicator will stay solid on. Please be patient to wait LED indicator to turn off. Now bind the remote to the dimmer. Select a group, select and tap a device from the unbind device list. Here the dimmer is displayed as a dim device in the list. Tap it to bind to the remote. Then the dimmer will appear in the bind device list, which means successful binding. We can control the lighting with the remote now. In this part, we'll show you how to exclusion and reset device to factory default setting. For remote, there are two exclusion methods. Method 1, exclusion from gateway. Tap reset in the wall switch option. Immediately press and hold down both I and O buttons at the top row simultaneously for over 3 seconds. The LED indicator will show 4 short blinks to indicate successful exclusion. Method 2, reset to factory default setting. Press and hold down both I and O buttons at the top row simultaneously for over 10 seconds. The LED indicator will show four short blinks to indicate successful resetting. For dimmer, there are two exclusion methods. Method 1, exclusion from gateway. Tap reset in the wall switch option. Immediately triple press the reset button, then the dimmer will be excluded to the network. Method 2, reset to factory default setting. Press and hold down the button for over 10 seconds, the dimmer will be reset to factory defaults.